pulled up um, that I saw in the chat earlier. So um, starting off with immaculatevegan.com looks like a bunch of different kinds of vegan leather products. Um, I like that in the beginnings you have like find out about Christmas delivery and extended returns. One thing I did want to point out before we dive into full homepage experience is also the cart experience. So I clicked open the cart and it says your bag is empty. There's so much real estate here that could be used uh, to your advantage if someone has an empty cart um, because some people might just click on it. Some people, um, if you hover over it, it might open. So if that's the case on your website, you have so much real estate here that you could use to your advantage. You could use this for your sale. You could use this for your smaller ticket items. You could use this for your best sellers. So you could kind of display um, some easy add to cart experiences within your empty bag cart view so that it's easier to not see this this kind of negative space here. So uh, if you have a cart experience that is similar to this, which is pretty standard and like, it's okay. You have all of this real estate to play with to add products, bestsellers, sale items to your cart to kind of help add things to the cart experience, make it really easy. Scrolling down here, I wanted to point out a few things that I liked uh, that some stores may not have on their websites right now. So not only featuring bestsellers, but also founders favorites. So I think that's a really interesting way to not only say like, here's what our customers like, but also here's what we recommend as a business across any industry, having bestsellers plus staff recommended can help with the legitimacy of like, yes, our customers love this, but also we as the experts like these uh, and the way that they've, they've displayed it on this website is really easy to navigate on uh, desktop. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Similarly, can be um, easy to navigate on desktop and mobile. I like here that you have like a carousel. I think this could be simplified uh, to have one image here and have it be your shop all option, especially on mobile. You want to direct people to one very specific CTA uh, and let them navigate the site that way versus too many options on a small enough screen can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, another piece of this page that I like is all the way down here, and I would love for it to be a little bit higher, is this as featured in section. Um, so going back, we have, you know, oh gosh, um, the, the publications that this store has been featured in. So no matter how large or how small your store is, adding some sort of social proof, preferably higher up on your homepage, can help with adding legitimacy to your store experience, whether that's your features, uh, your features in different publications like this store has done, or just reviews in a sort of horizontally aligned component like this is really valuable for showcasing your store's like legitimacy, other customers have purchased from you. That social proof aspect is just like a form of like psychological motivation for buyers. So uh, my suggestion would be to move this up probably definitely above the blog uh, posts and then maybe in between the edits and, you know, um, Immaculate Vegan. I would say one thing to keep in mind is as you look across your website, if you see a paragraph of text, how can you shorten that to one line or three bullet points? Um, it's one of those things where you wanna make your website really easy to navigate and to read. And all of the information is important, but how are people going to digest that information? So uh, welcome to the Immaculate Vegan. If this was something that didn't take up, you know, a full, my full screen, but instead it was a little bit like shorter and it was separated into like a three column sort of situation that says like, uh, best vegan and ethical fashion brands all in one place uh, from shoes, bags, and accessories. Uh, we've got you covered and like cruelty-free and eco-friendly. All three of those sentences could be split up into bullet points. And then the about us could all be, could be that like CTA. Um, so just shortening the copy on your page to be a little bit more quippy could be really, really useful. Sarah, it's Simon from Immaculate Vegan. Hello. Thank you for Hi. that comment. That, that is a classic example of where uh, SEO tends to uh, rear its ugly head. In other words, you're right. It's not the most elegant 
copy, but it's designed for us to be found for what we're selling. So that's that's where kind of SEO meets aesthetics kind of head on and 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 wins <laughs> just just for the record. Yeah, no, I 100% understand. I think even if you wanted to make these uh, these sentences H2s or H3s on the page to help with that SEO value of you're still using the same keywords, but you're shortening that a little bit. And then hopefully uh, your About Us page has a little bit more beefy content around each of those H3s that you could then mimic on your About Us page. Okay. If we wanted to get into a little bit more of like the technical SEO of how you want to organize your content on your homepage specifically, but the internal linking here makes total sense. You wouldn't want to remove that CTA um, and you would want to make sure that you're like the main keywords that you wanted on this section were maintained. Cool. Okay. Um, I really like the shop our edits. If I were to test something, I would want to test shop our edits against this H1 especially because um, it is the holiday time. People are definitely looking for boots, sneakers and bags or trainers and bags, but organizing them in a way that's more aligned with like, hey, it's the holiday time, especially like party time, office smarts, even if you had like a gift shop, which you may have under your bestsellers, um, having that sort of displayed as your H1 versus your three different most popular sort of sections could be a really interesting test to run.